Hello, boys and girls, my name is HatsuC and welcome back to another day in Minecraft where we will only sparingly use the pickaxe because this is a new mining series. And I am back from the end and behind me you can see the spoils I got. So let's see. Uh, this is just a, a random selection of armor that I took out, but seeing that we have a powerful villager set up, don't really need that. Uh, maybe the, the horse armor. And same story for the, the gear here. It's just a selection of uh, things that uh, I thought, yeah, well, looks nice, why not? And here, this is the, all the gear that I created as a backup because I did die. And from the looks of it, I died at least three times uh, and could recover the gear. Uh, that sounds about right. Uh, actually, I also fell two times into the void, so... Uh, there I lost all the gear. So now the question is, was it worth it? I think yes. I got five additional elytras in addition to this one I'm uh, sporting there. Uh, and uh, seven ender chests more than a stack of uh, shell cushions could have been more but did not want to be too greedy uh, and die even more um, again a few ingots of uh, iron and gold and 40 diamonds and this is important because as mentioned we cannot go mining so uh, we need to uh, get our diamonds any uh, other way, but seeing uh, again with the villagers back there, uh, I do not need diamonds for tools or gears, uh, so it's just uh, maybe uh, jukeboxes uh, and uh, enchanting tables, uh, and that's it then. So, what will we do today? Um, Today will be a bit of a, of a mixed episode because I think with uh, getting the elytra I finished the uh, first phase um, of, uh, of this series um, where I get all the necessities uh, to have a somewhat comfortable life. Now second phase is about really getting comfortable uh, planning out various things uh, enabling myself uh, in, a, in a manner uh, to really push forward before we then go into the third phase which I imagine will be the longest lasting. So um, I think this episode will be a bit uh, an assortment of, uh, of various clips, various things I do um, to get the ball rolling there. As you can see, I am down here deep underground. Uh, in fact, uh, up there is the uh, uh, the slime farm and uh, we did not extend the, the slime farm all the way to bedrock at the at the bottom um, so one thing that I want to do there is light up the uh, cave systems around here uh, to improve uh, improve spawn rates and 
then also eventually we can extend the, the whole thing uh, down. Uh, so uh, lighting this up, that's uh, part of the of the project. Then there is a bit of nether trading, also known as bartering, to get a bit more of uh, obsidian, so we can create a few uh, portals in uh, locations that are um, well suited. The first portal should actually match up with the one that we also created first. Uh, you remember we had to move that because suddenly uh, we ended up in an underground cave. Uh, could only get out through drowning. So this is the spot that should link up. In that direction is our uh, gold farm and there uh, you can see the torch which basically marks the, the hole in the bedrock. So let's do this uh, and then Actually, it only has to be too wide. Let's let's save on uh, obsidian because we do not have too much. Probably, it is just enough for this one portal before I have to look for more obsidian so and let's see if this is actually true Put the linking up yes we are where we want to be and uh, I think we do uh, the portals for now on the nether roof uh, until I can figure out a proper way for a nether transport system. The second portal will be here in our base uh, and on this side there will be some more farms uh, wood related and maybe also some more that uh, actually need bone meal. Uh, then here in the middle we will have the centerpiece uh, our um, our storage system which we will build up so I think it is a good idea to have basically the portal um, here somewhat like uh, at the uh, entrance and instead of uh, lighting it up from this side I will check the uh, coordinates just like this go to the nether and build the portal on the right coordinates, the corresponding coordinates on the roof and only then link them up. This is the nether side of things, so lighting this up and then going back to the overworld, lighting the other portal up, they should link. And you can see over there is the new portal we created before and if I follow this uh, torch line, I get to the uh, four torched uh, hole in the bedrock. And of course, over this side is the actual gold farm. So let's see 
if that actually works from the uh, overworld side. Let's cross our fingers and hope for the best. You never know if this works as designed or if there is something wrong. But as I can see, uh, Bedrock, as far as the eye uh, sees, this looks good. And on this side, we have once again our torch tower. So now we can focus on other things, mainly what to put into our ender chest. The ender chest is not too big, so you want to have your items in shulker boxes in your ender chest. And to keep everything organized, I like to have my ender chest color coded as well as uh, named. Mm, uh, don't like that. I think light gray might be might be better. At least for what I have in mind. And one will be yellow. And one will be orange. Right, so now to naming. This one, this is the backup box. Box, yep. Uh, maybe with space. Gets. Well, you will call like the diamonds. This one is food because eventually we will live on golden carrots, and that's the color, and that's fireworks. All right, so all we have to do is fill these charcoal boxes. I think the food, the backup, and uh, the money box is not too difficult because basically this is already the money that we have. And uh, we have, so let's just transfer that gold. Then we have the backup. We should have one in here as well, which has all our backup gear. It's not that one. Probably that one. Yes. So let's try to organize that a bit. So that we can have everything in there. That's the third set. We seem to be missing one set of uh, of uh, pickaxe but that's not too bad because pickaxes are easy to come by so then let's put 
these two in here, there and there. And then we will have to see about these two boxes. Golden carrots we can get from the villages, but I think uh, the uh, rockets, that's a bit of a long winding process to fill that box up. One is we have to grow the sugarcane and then we have the very inefficient gunpowder farm. So maybe this is something that we can do in one of the upcoming episodes, get a better gunpowder farm. This one now empty and we put that somewhere in here all full. Oh, there's a space left. Um, also don't need all these calls on me. And then I will fill up these uh, two shulker boxes until next time. So hope you enjoyed this uh, a bit of a uh, um, non-focused episode. If so, let me know uh, next time. We will have another project going on, that's for sure. But uh, these kind of things, clean up and so on, need to be done every once in a while. So I will see you next time. Until then, goodbye.